Smog enveloped Mumbai as the city's largest garbage dump at Deonar burst into flame yet again. The fire broke out on Sunday morning and authorities say it is bigger and more dangerous than the fire that broke out in January this year. Spread over 300 acres, the Deonar dump is massive and nearly 11 fire tenders and 8 water tankers have been used to douse the flames. But in spite of firefighting efforts, toxic fumes continue to spread with people living in adjoining areas such as Gowandi and Mankurd complaining of uneasiness. Fires at the dump are common with officials blaming the scrap mafia and mis- mismanagement by contractors for starting small fires which quickly spread. Experts meanwhile say the dump is over capacity and a better and more efficient garbage disposal methods are needed to ensure this doesn't happen again. As Mumbai's garbage dumps make the headlines and make a mockery of India's financial capital, we ask is creating bigger landfills the only solution to our garbage mess or is there something more that can be done well the 500 families living in the vijayanagar society in andheri east may just have the solution with their novel zero waste concept that is creating waves nikhil narayan sivadas join us with this report At a time when Mumbai's landfills and garbage dumps are overflowing, I'm here at the Vijayanagar Society in Andheri East, where they've successfully adopted a zero waste garbage model. Sir, you've been here and you've been actually overseeing this entire process for the past year. Tell us what what made you come up with the idea to do this. See, uh, from the year uh, middle of the April uh, 2014, we were bargaining, uh, we were marching on BMC for removing the uh, garbage pit just outside our uh, compound, uh, and uh, that time bmc uh, uh, ask us one question see we are we are taking and collecting the garbage what you are doing for the society for not giving the garbage to the uh, dumping ground so this was a near, a really challenging job so i had ask uh, what should i do for that so they just suggest the zero garbage project so I, we have started uh, this type of uh, 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 campaigning from october november and december and we have uh, started our project from the 1st jan 2015 Uh, what are the steps you took to actually ma- educate people in the society to come forward and adopt this we actually educate the people and gave them uh, a dry garbage chart and uh, wet garbage chart we uh, told them how to segregate uh, these kind of uh, waste and uh, wet garbage goes our uh, wet garbage goes to composting and dry garbage goes to recycling so uh, end of the year we actually did not throw 10 uh, 100000 kgs to dumping ground what are the kind of investments you have made as a society into this and how do you expect to get them back okay uh, we have a ngo partner called stri mukti sangathana the parisar vagini is what we call they they come here on a daily basis to do, do the processing of the wet garbage we have to have some salaries paid to these and to be honest the uh, cost per family if you if you want to translate that it doesn't come more than 70 rupees per family per month so and now Uh, we can proudly say that we have made a official uh, you know uh, appeal to the municipal corporation for giving us the rebate in the property tax also the manure that we uh, get it from this as a you know conversion of the wet garbage into the manure uh, even that is being sold uh, to the to the outside people the only kind of uh, garbage that unfortunately we need to dump is the you know the biomedical waste the sanitary napkins and uh, uh, diapers of the adults and the kids as such because nobody has a you know a concrete solution to dispose of this kind of uh, you know garbage as such if you want to participate in the zero garbage project contact mahesh arkle at mahesh.arkle@khusil.com